for you to do that. Thanks a lot, Pete. We'll see you in a bit. Well, Greenville County authorities are investigating after human remains were found by a hiker. Our Ayla Ferron spoke to neighbors in the area where they were found. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office and the coroner are still working to identify human remains that were found somewhere in this area in a wooded space behind this neighborhood. It was here off of Lake Circle and Huckleberry Ridge where the remains were found on Tuesday evening. Yeah, an individual who was exploring hiking uh, the area last night notified us of some human remains that were found around 630. Leaving those living nearby like William Schultz surprised. It does kind of hit close to home when, when you hear that it's in your neighborhood. The investigation is in the early stages. However, the coroner's office tells me the remains are mainly skeletal. We don't know how long they had been there. All that's just part of the investigation. We're still in the very early stages. And the identity of the remains is unknown right now. So right now we are working in conjunction with the Grimm County Coroner's Office to try to get this individual identified. But Schultz and his neighbors have some ideas. My first thought was the gentleman that um, happened down at Holtzcliffe Park. He's talking about Ryan Kadar, who is wanted for a murder that happened in Herdclots Park back in late February. Days later, about 100 deputies descended on Paris Mountain State Park, searching for Kadar, whose vehicle had been abandoned nearby. Helicopters flying around all day. I mean, it was 10, 12 hours at least. Park property ends roughly a quarter mile away from this neighborhood. Most of these are uh, private properties and, and um, you know, people keep a keep a watch out on their property. So it's it is kind of shocking to hear. Schultz says whether the remains are Kadar or someone else, it's still unusual for this area. Um, I can only think of one other thing and I've lived up here most of my life. Still, it's too early to know the identity of the remains or how they got there. They'll certainly um, perk up and, and it'll draw interest, you know, but at this point we just, we don't know a, a lot of anything right now. It's just going to take uh, the investigation and we're just asking people just to remain patient. If you do have any information, you're asked to call the sheriff's office right away. I'm reporting in Greenville County, Ayla Ferron, 7 News.